What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be taking a blind look at a game called Back to the Dawn. This is a game that like if you effectively took Zootopia and you turned it into all criminals that were all in prison and they're all thieves and murderers and killers and you turned it into a game about staging a jailbreak to get out, uh, that's basically what this game is. You are a fox and or a panther. Uh, basically, you get to pick a character at the beginning of the game to play as, and they have different storylines and different things they're trying to accomplish inside of jail. But you get to pick a character, it's an RPG, you can level up, you can get stronger, you can get into fights, you know, you can steal, you can rob, you can craft, you can do all that kind of stuff. And so we're gonna go on the inside today. Lockdown, everybody. Back to the dawn. This demo is publicly available to anybody that wants to play it as of right now. So you're more than welcome to check it out. I'll put a link for you down below in the description. On top of that, you can also find a link to my Discord and my Twitch stream just in case you wanted to hang out live with me any given day of the week. But let's get on into this, dude. I know you guys like it when I play prison games. And I'm going to get you learned up. I'm going to get you rock solid. You're going to understand all the rules of the game by the time we're out of here. I'm going to give you that inside the prison advice. All right, so the first thing we got to do is pick our character. Uh, we can play as Thomas Fox, or I guess Thomas the Fox. Looks like he's got four constitution, three strength, five agility, five intelligence. And it looks like he is drawn into the city's shadowy underbelly while investigating a story. He's a journalist, okay. Or there's Bob, who is a panther. He's an undercover detective that poses as a criminal and infiltrates the prison for a top secret mission. Yeah, it's not altogether uncommon. Occasionally, undercover guys will, for like really serious RICO cases and stuff for infiltration, will take a couple years on their jacket in order to like get used to it and have like the vetted credibility, basically. Uh, we'll start out, I mean, this guy, his stats are utterly, absurdly amazing. So let's start out with Thomas the Fox, because I feel like that's going to put us a little bit behind the baseline and make things a little bit more interesting. So far, I'm really liking this menu and the way that it's animated, like the backgrounds and everything else that they've used. It's a good looking game, like they've made solid aesthetic decisions right here, just on the intro portion of getting into the game. Now we got to pick what kind of journalist we want to be. We can be a broadcast journalist, that means that we are better at negotiation, we're smarter. Uh, our positive ability is that... Chatting with people takes half as much stamina and we get a plus one charisma for the purposes of that activity. Our negative effects are that if we don't shower every single day, we lose sanity. Okay. We can be an undercover journalist. Uh, that adds two extra pocket slots and the max violation of carried items is plus 20. We get an extra agility and we get crafting skills. On top of that, our negative effect is that when we make a challenge with a success rate of less than 30%, we're not allowed to re-roll. We can be a war correspondent. That makes us stronger, so we get plus one to strength, and the duration of medicine is extended by one hour. And then apparently our hunger and our stamina and everything else are extended. Our negative effects are that if we have a nightmare, we can't easily forget them. Let's go with the war correspondent. That sounds pretty cool. I like all three, but we'll do the war correspondent. If it's the law of the jungle in this city, then how are we any different from wild animals? I mean, we're not. We're just like animals wearing pants, man. That's pretty much it. Dear viewers, I'm here at Lamaleg River near the Black Marsh Chemical Plant in Skid Road. As you can see, the river is purple. It also has a very pungent odor. I'm with one of the residents of the riverbank. Let's hear his thoughts on the matter. Oh, he's a beaver. That's why he's next to the river. My thoughts, this damn chemical plant opened two years ago and it's already devastated the surrounding area. Those heartless sons of bitches must have dumped sewage into the river at night. Now all the fish are dead. Just smell that stench. So many kids are sick. They can't stop coughing and have rashes all over their bodies. It's messed up. Okay, so it's kind of like if you live in Martinez with the refineries. Gotcha. Like, everybody's got emphysema. Uh, and have you informed the authorities, such as the Environmental Protection Agency or City Hall? Of course, but they're useless. None of them want to take responsibility. I heard that the mayor's nephew has shares in the plant. The bastards are all in on it together. They see us poor people in Skid Road is less than nothing. Viewers, is the tragic situation here really the result of illegal sewage dumping? And is the inaction of the authorities due to the mayor's involvement? We'll continue to investigate the story, so stay tuned for follow-up reports. I'm Thomas the Fox Woodpecker TV reporting live from... Excellent interview. Your reputation is well deserved. 
I'm sure you didn't ask me here just to watch a video with you, Mr. Campaign Manager. Indeed not. We're both busy, guys, so I'm going to get straight to the point. As you know, the mayor's four-year term is almost up, and the election is just around the corner. He's seeking re-election and has hired me, Angelo, as his campaign manager. The mayor's asked the eraser for help, but he must be desperate. The eraser? That's baseless slander. I'm a serious social activist. Let's get back to the point. Cards on the table. The mayor does indeed have a certain relative who holds shares in the plant, but the mayor wasn't aware of that fact, and no so-called power for money deal ever took place. But your interview may cause some of the more unsophisticated citizens to misunderstand the situation. So I hope that you'll reconsider your follow-up report to avoid any further misunderstandings. I'm just doing my job. What a great journalist. I admire your passion for your work, but there's more to life than work. There's way more. So what are you trying to say? A little birdie told me you're still renting some flea bag apartment and broke up with your girl not too long ago. And no friends to speak of other than that lawyer that you went to school with. Your aggressive reporting gets you in trouble, and he's the one that has to clean up those messes. Alright, so you've done your research. This is beginning to sound like threats. You flatter me. I'm trying to make a point. We both find ourselves in situations that are less than ideal, and we can help each other. Knuckles, briefcase. Wait, so you hang out with a guy named Knuckles? Yeah, you're definitely not on the up and up, man. What's this? You trying to bribe me? You've got me wrong. I want you to join our campaign staff as head of PR. This is your starting fee. Someone of your talent working as a TV reporter? It's a waste. I want to give you an opportunity. So, will you join us, or will you carry on with thankless reporting? You're a smart fox. I'm sure you'll make the right choice. I mean, either way, this feels like he's got me caught in a trap just by being in this room with him. And I feel like I walked into it like an idiot. If I decline the money, something bad's going to happen. And if I take the money, I'm obviously being set up. So... This is a bad situation. This is not great. Well, might as well go out with our honor intact. Put your money away. I'm not for sale. It's unfortunate. Since you're so determined to be stubborn, I have no other choice. Is the eraser about to show his two colors? He can't buy me, so he has to threaten me. Are you looking for the chance to erase me as well? Nah, you're the hotshot who broke the contamination story. If you were to disappear, it'd be a major headache. After all, the public do love to engage in wild speculation. I'm glad to hear that. If there's nothing else, I'll be leaving. And I promise you'll see a follow-up report real soon. Take care. You have a nice day. You'll regret this foolishness. Sergeant Norman, this is my precinct. Is this, are you the owner of this car? Yeah, is there a problem, officer? We received an anonymous tip that the car has illegal substances. Uh, we're gonna have to check. Kyle, check up front. Eric, move your ass. Turn the trunk inside out. Sir, there must be some mistake. That's for us to determine. Sit tight. I'm gonna need to see a warrant, my guys? Uh, I'm gonna need to see a warrant here? I'm pretty sure uh, there's nothing... There's no probable cause. I, I don't think that we're uh, violating any clear view doctrine here. I'm gonna need to see a warrant. I'll wait. Huh. Sarge, I found it. He was hiding something, and it looks like grade-A stuff. I mean, I don't know anything about that. That's right. Shaggy defense. It wasn't me. Shut your mouth. Save it for the station. What a great day. I think I'll have another drink. Okay. Well, there you go. I'll let you pause and read all that since there's a lot of it. But let's get moving. We're going to jail. I'm locked up. They won't let me out. They won't let me out. I'm locked up. Won't let me out. Damn, dude. How come all the other animals in here are way bigger than a fox? There we go. I bet I could rough up that possum or that platypus or that koala. There we go. They're a little bit smaller than me. Standard attention. Listen, good fish. From now on, you're inmate 1220. I'm Captain Bruce, and my words are the law. You will obey. Do you understand? I understand. Speak up. I can't hear you. I understand, sir. Good. Now get your ass to cell three and make it snappy. 
He called us inmate. That's a good start. Inmate is fine. You don't let a guard call you a prisoner. Here it is, Fish, your new home. Before you go in, one last thing. Head counts in the lobby at 8 o'clock. You better not be late. Get out of my sight. Yeah, that guy talks a lot, but now's not the time to waste energy getting mad. It's been a week since my conviction, and I still haven't met with Reed. I don't know how the appeal is progressing, but I need to contact him ASAP. Ask the prisoners. They'll know how to contact the outside. Well, let's introduce ourselves to our celly. Hey, I'm Thomas, your new cellmate. Oh, hey, I was just reading a letter from my girlfriend. I'm Sam. Nickname's Ratchet. I was a mechanic on the outside. Uh, never, ever, ever admit you're a journalist in jail. I work in TV. They're going to figure it out anyways, because they're going to pull your jacket in a couple days. But anyways, hey, no wonder you look familiar. I might have seen your show. So how can I contact the outside? I need to talk to my lawyer. Of course, this is a modern prison. You can write a letter like me, or if you're in a hurry, there's a payphone in the lobby. You can try after headcount, but there's usually a line. A phone. That's good news. I'll call after headcount. Okay, so we have some time to kill. It looks like we came in with 50 bucks. Uh, it looks like we have 120 stamina, so most actions will require your stamina. And then we've also got focus points. And so they allow us to re-roll our challenges if we fail at those challenges. All right. We've also got the price of justice over here, so leave the cell and go to the lobby for headcount. Okay. This table looks older than me, but I guess beggars can't be choosers in this place. Maybe I can use it as a workbench. All right, so we can craft on here. Can I make anything cool? Oh, I can make a paper crane. What was the movie where he folds paper cranes in prison? I can't remember now. That's going to bug me. It wasn't a movie. It was it was Prison Break. That's what it was. Michael Schofield. I forgot, dude. That's what they're referencing right there. It's from the TV show Prison Break. And the main character likes to make paper cranes, and he leaves messages inside of them all the time. But anyways, it does look like we can do some lightweight crafting inside of here. Apparently, I came on the inside with one piece of paper on me. I don't know if I can open my inventory or anything right now. But we don't have a pen or a pencil, so we can't write a letter. There's a plant here. This potted plant seems to be made of plastic. If I want to grow a plant, I guess I'll have to wait for the full version. Okay, well, thanks for telling me. I like it when demos are upfront about that kind of stuff. My stomach hurt. Bro, I swear to God, if you beef it in this cell, dude, that's cell etiquette 101, dude. Don't smoke out the cell. Looks like this rickety iron frame is my bed. The bottom bunk's been taken. I'm on top. Yeah, that's pretty common. And new fish always go on the top rack. That's pretty much just the way it goes. Like, it's basically on a seniority system. Like, the longer you've been in or the, like, the more respected you are, you get the bottom rack. The bottom rack's considered better because the blankets hang better off the bottom rack. And, like, it, it's it's just it's basically one of those weird prison things. Like, general rules for our new fish, if you're going to be, like, on a top rack, if our fox doesn't know, is that the bottom of your foot should never come into the contact with the mattress of the bottom guy's rack. That's, like, big-time disrespect that'll get you in trouble. Instead, when you're climbing up, you slide your toes underneath the mattress and push up and over. And when you're coming off the top, you slide off without making any contact with the bottom rack. Also, you don't eat on top rack. If you eat on top rack, you rain crumbs down on the guy underneath you, whether he... Whether it actually happens or not, it's considered to be, like, disrespectful. There's a whole bunch of rules you gotta follow when you got a top rack versus a bottom rack, honestly. Alright, a storage cupboard. Looks like I have my own space. There seems to be a piece of paper on top. The prison schedule. Okay. Let's look at that schedule real quick. Alright, morning head count at 8 o'clock. Lunch is at 12. 1 o'clock is rec. So we've got yard time. 17, so 5.30 is dinner time. 6 o'clock, the bathroom opens up. And lockdown is at 10 o'clock. Okay. Okay, and there's all the stuff we can carry around. So we've got some chewing gum. We've got a caramel bar. And we've got a piece of paper. I'll throw the piece of paper in there right now, so I'm not carrying it around with me. Let's go ahead and jump on out of the cell. And it looks like time actually doesn't go by if you're just, like, doing your thing. It's like I made it in time. Ted, shut! Right, shut your mouth. Head counts up. One, two, three, 44 of 47. Three inmates missing. Two in the infirmary, one in seg. That's all. Listen up, today's the first of the month, which means some more dipshits have joined you. I'll warn you now.
Don't try to stand out from the crowd. You try to be a smart ass in my domain and I'll show you no mercy. Now let's get down to business. All newcomers, listen and listen good. To enable you lazy maggots to earn your keep, the prison offers work assignments. There are vacancies in the laundry room for now, so any new inmates who want to earn some money should apply with me. Remember, don't be choosy about your job. If you don't want to do it, somebody else will. Yeah, ain't that a truth. Anybody that can get on work program, dude. I shut the hell up. I don't have time to listen to your whining. Dismissed. Like, a lot of people don't understand why you take work detail <laughs> when you're in the joint. But as I understand it, it's real, real boring. And getting paid like 11 cents an hour to do something all day and have some semblance of normalcy going to work at like 9 in the morning and getting done at like 3 in the afternoon, uh, it helps a lot of people when they got a strong bid in front of them, when they got that real grown man time. Uh, prison work? I do need some cash, and I've only got a couple coins in my pocket, but the top priority right now is to call Reed. He's probably waiting to hear from me. Yeah, let's go hop in line for the phone. Come on, it's been so long. You show my script to the director or not? What? What do you mean you can't get a chance? You're his assistant. Do you have any idea how important this script is to me? My entire comeback is riding on it. Seriously, can't you just get it all together? Uh, don't forget who helped you when you were at your rock bottom. Oh, time is going by right now. I don't know if it was just going by as a result of me listening to the conversation. Uh, I can try to persuade him to leave, or I can pay him 10 bucks. 28% ain't great, though. Let's just pay him. Hey, I'm in a hurry. Let me use the phone, man. Fine, I was finished up anyways. All right. Let's make a call. Hello, inmate 1220. You can make two calls today. You'll be charged $10 per call. A $90 service charge is added for your first call. I knew it wouldn't be that simple. Seems like this place is shadier than I thought. I mean, I don't have a hundo stack. I got 40 bucks right now, so we need to make 100 bucks in order to make this call and get to our lawyer. Attention, what is it? What, you want to work? Good. Inmates should stay busy, and I've got some good news. Right now, you can apply to work in the laundry room without good conduct credits. This is a special privilege for a new fish like you. If you're interested, come and fill out the form. All right. Yeah, do it. Your application's approved. From now on, you're due in the laundry room. It's a great job, fish. You're going to love it. So how do I get there? Simple. You see this fence gate? Go out from there before lunch, and the guard will take you to the workplace on the other side of the corridor, but don't try any funny business. The work area is watched by snipers on the tower. You wouldn't want to get your head blown off now, would you? Okay. You have a work permit, but I can't find a health certificate. You have to go to the infirmary for a physical. You gotta pass that before you can work. Alright. I guess I gotta go to the infirmary. Alright. According to the regulations, all new inmates have to go to the infirmary for a physical. Do you want to go now? Yeah, let's go do it. The guard at the end of the corridor is going to escort you. Behave yourself. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm missing work today uh, because of the physical. You here for your physical? Doc's in the consultation room. You can go in by yourself. Come meet me in the corridor when you're done. Don't stay in there too long. All right, I won't cause any trouble. Um, I'm assuming she's the one we got to talk to. You calling me? Hey, you're new here, aren't you? Yeah. I'm Fernando the Ant Eater. I've been here for five years. As somebody who knows a thing or two, let me give you a little piece of advice. Danger lurks around every corner in this place. Especially for newcomers. It's best to have some medicine just in case. I was a surgeon before I was in here. Helping people's what I do. One more thing. It also means I get to work in the infirmary. I can get all kinds of good stuff like alcohol and painkillers. Come to me if you need it. We can discuss a price. Thought he seemed too good to be true. All right, well, apparently we've earned a rapport with Fernando the Ant Eater. He's got sharp claws and worked as a surgeon before he came in. Okay. What's up with this dude? I need peace. Okay, I'll leave him alone. I don't want to talk, yeah? Uh, I'm get, I get the feeling you're in a prison infirmary. You had kind of a bad time. An intercom? It seems that even if you come to the infirmary, you can't see the doctor. Hmm, I can lockpick it, huh? Okay, we don't know the code to the door. How do I get my physical? Hmm, there was stuff inside of there. I don't know what line of sight looks like, though. Guess we test it?
Hopefully they don't make me do the old squat and cough when we get out of here. Oh, cool. That helped my health out. Nice. How do I do my consultation? I should go to the consultation room to get checked out. Can I go in yet? Hello? How can I help you? I'm here for a physical. Come on in. I got some free time. All right. So you get a brief physical. Hi, I'm Beth. From your records, I can see this is your first time in the infirmary. I'm the doctor here. I'm responsible for all the inmates' ailments, big and small. Every day I leave at 5.30 sharp. I don't like overtime. I understand that. I wouldn't want to work a prison at night either. If you get hurt during the night, Guard Brand is going to administer your drip. Yeah, uh, assaulting medical staff at a prison is like one of the worst things you can possibly do. I virtually guarantee you the COs are going to give you the boot party of your life and you're going to be drinking out of a straw. My mom was a medic at a prison. And it doesn't turn out too well for people that try to assault the medic. Because really the guard's line of reasoning on it is, if the medic is out and I get stabbed or I get wounded, there's nobody to patch me up and now I die. So like, attacking the medical staff or anything in prison, probably not going to happen. And if it does, uh, that prisoner is going to wish he was never alive, I'll tell you that. All right, so if you get hurt during the night, the guard Bran will administer the drip. He's not a doctor, but he has some training, so you don't need to worry. All right, test results. First of all, congratulations. There's nothing major wrong with you. But considering unsanitary conditions here, you can never be too cautious. I'll give you a vaccination to protect against the infectious diseases around here. Wait, I'll just get it from the pharmacy. You're just going to leave me unattended inside of here? What should I do now? Uh, yoink everything, bro. That's what you should do. What else we got around here? We got some, like, rubber gloves, dude. Oh, I got no more space in my pockets. What's up with the computer? There might be useful information here. Our desktop is a mess. Do it. Boom, baby. There seems to be something in this folder. Let's see here. Tim the Sloth, chronic, or chronic skin condition, not contagious, requires injections every Monday and Thursday. Jimmy Giraffe, hypertension, mild complications. Kevin Koala, hypersomnia. Diego Alpaca, type 1 diabetes. Bob the Panther, hyperthyroidism, kidney stones, and chronic stomach ulcers. God, is there anything not wrong with him? Seems the patients come to the infirmary regularly. Here. Congratulations on going to one year Payo Hub, giving you thousands of amazing videos at your fingertip. Your frequently watched category adult has been updated with 126 new videos. <laughs> I never thought she'd be into the same stuff I am. All right, what's up with this? Uh, we have millions of quality singles, and you are bound to find the one. Okay, this is just getting sad, bro. All right, Aunt Mel, thank you for the cookies you sent last week. Sorry, I haven't been to visit, but I've been down lately. I broke up with Toby. I was dependent on him after all. We've been together on and off since college. I even used his birthday as the code for the consultation room door. I'm taking things one step at a time, and I've changed the code to my birthday now. Hopefully soon I'll be able to get over him for good. I've definitely come around for dinner in a few days. Please don't worry about me. So the consultation room code is her birthday. Yeah. Uh, nothing inside of there. Can I... I was going to say, are her medical records in here, dude? I was going to try to check on her... I was going to try to check on her birthday. All right, sit down in the chair. Yeah, sit and wait. Are you ready for your shot? Um, yeah. Did you know that prison rules say I'm not allowed to talk to inmates? So why are you talking to me? Because I'm the only one in the examination room. Have you ever tried not talking to somebody for an entire day? I sometimes wonder who the real prisoner is. You know, my mom literally said the exact same thing when she worked in a jail as a medic for like eight years. So why are you a prison doctor? I'm just a stupid girl trying to piss off her even stupider father. Family trouble? Let's leave it there for a while. All right, here goes. Stop shaking or I can't find the vein. After receiving a shot, you leave the consultation room. Yeah, but was it like the one that makes your arm all numb, like the tetanus one, dude? That shot sucks. I want some water. Yeah, well, I want to not be in prison, so I guess none of us are getting what we want here today. Inmate, 1220, requesting gen pop. They didn't shake me down on the way out? Damn, dude. Okay, all right. It's kind of loosey-goosey around here. Is that guy taking a dump in the corner? You talking to me? What's up, man? 
Shh, keep it down. You're going to scare them. Ooh, there's nobody else here. All the little elves. Can't you see them dancing on the tip of my nose? And the lobster knight's climbing up my legs? Oh, I get it. You're high as a kite and you're hallucinating. No, I'm a magical chef. This is my psychic power. Then I guess you added herbs and spices to your food, huh? Yeah, dude. I put some mushrooms in it. Taste it out of this world. The effects clearly haven't worn off yet. I'm going to leave him in his own world for right now. Apparently, I made friends with Diego the alpaca. All right. Cup of coffee sounds good. Yeah, let's get it. Oh, we can't get coffee, though? Where's the coffee at? This must be the only mailbox in town that isn't covered with ads. I thought it was a coffee maker, man. So it's just hot water? That's it? Oh, don't drink that. That's going to make you upset to your stomach, dude. What is this? Guard surveillance. They are watching you. Oh, it tells you. All right, so now we can work. There we go. Let's go check out our work detail and see how this works. Washing machines are so loud in here. Let's see what work I can get done. I honestly don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. I assume that I iron stuff, right? Ironing board? Looks like it's the job here, so what do I do? There might be some instructions on the wall. Let me take a look. Mm, or I could just talk to somebody else and be like, what do I do? Machine is taller than me, but it's tiny compared to everything else here. It's been moved here. Yeah, move the machine. There we go. What's up with the trash can? Anything good in here, dude? You didn't find anything. All right. Ironing board instructions. Workers must be proficient and use. Left click to start ironing. Left click again to stop. Ironing times for the five types of clothing. Top, 11 minutes. Pants, 10 minutes. Vest, 9 minutes. Underpants, 8 minutes. Socks, 7 minutes. The closer the actual ironing time is to the specified time, the more pay you get. Okay, in order to prove efficiency and reduce costs, each worker must finish ironing three items of clothing in succession before he can receive his salary. Okay. I don't know if I need to memorize this or if, like, the quick time event is just going to tell me. A top was 10, pants were, were... I mean, top was 11, pants were 10, so... Piece one is pants. Ironing time is 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, I gotta, like, memorize how long it goes? Why does the stopwatch go away? Piece two is underpants. Ironing time is eight minutes. Why wouldn't the stopwatch just stay up? Like, my man can't count, like, one macaroni in his head? Oh, dude, I got it on seven. I was trying to count in my head, but, like, the ironing time is nine minutes. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Whew, all three done. Wonder how much I'm going to get paid. Probably nothing, bro. Oh, you still get paid something. That's not too bad. That's not too terrible. Uh, it looks like we can go again, maybe. It might put us a little late for lunch, but I mean, honestly, we could use the cash for the payphone. All right, so it's a top 11 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Ah, close. Okay, I was a little fast. I mean, I was a half second fast, but we still did all right. Uh, eight minutes for the underpants. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Not bad, not bad. Okay, we got it, we got it. Seven minutes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom, baby. I'm the king of the laundry room. Let's go. All right, so we got our money for the payphone. Uh, let's go ahead and head on out. And we'll see. I mean, I should probably work a little bit more. I'm sure they kick you out at lunchtime. Can we get into this back room right here? Detergent mixing room? What's up with this? Box full of jars, softener. Nothing else written on them. They're clearly the cheapest chemical ingredients. All right. What's up with this? What's up with the... Who's Bernard? Don't get too close to me. 
Hey, what are you looking at? I'm just wandering around. I'm not disturbing you, am I? Nah, sorry. I'm kind of on edge, dude. Why, you pissed somebody off? I'm a former detective, so you could say that. I caught a lot of bad guys in my time and more- Oh, dude, you're done for. You ain't gonna make it. How come they didn't put you in ADSEG, dude? <laughs> Eat your toast! <laughs> if I was any less cautious, I might have been taken out a long time ago. Sounds terrible, but how did a detective end up in prison? Were you framed too? I don't want to talk about it right now. Maybe I'll tell you if I get a chance later. Yeah, this is not the place for you, my man. You could have some big problems. You better get a rear view mirror installed in your forehead, bro. Alright, let's go get our food. See if we can uh, get some munchy crunchies on. Oh, our food costs money in here. You gotta love it. Okay. Oh, dude, they've got like sushi though, dude? Wrapped up in the nori? Okay, okay. I'm just gonna take the toast for right now. Well, I'm missing like 80 stamina. Maybe I'll shell out. Yeah, dude. Maybe maybe I'll shell out for like a good meal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's uh let's get some French fries, dude. Is there like an empty table? I was gonna say I'm gonna come over here. I'm not trying to slap down to next to a bunch of people I don't even know and get my muffin took, bro. Feel the sudden urge to get some exercise. Oh, I think my man's got to take a dump. I think he's got to take a poopity doopities, dude. Okay, so we poop our pants when our digestion gets up to 20. Gotcha. Like, I think we're solid here, but I'm not trying to, like, actually talk to any of these guys or, like, make friends with any of them. What does this say? Everyday toast is free pumpkin porridge. Okay. I do like that for the UI elements and whatnot, it's actually like a clipboard that comes up that you take a look at and everything. Like, for what it's worth, I actually think the game has a lot of little cool UI details and, like, aesthetic choices that have been made. Uh, we get wreck time in 30 minutes. What's up with this, like, what's up with this rabbit? Hey, friend, you like magic? I mean, I don't know a couple of card tricks. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Whitey, magician. I'm planning a prison magic show. It's so boring in here. If there was an exciting magic show, I'm sure everybody would pay to see it. What kind of magic would you say is exciting? The death slice and the rabbit hole of death are my specialties. Those names sound appealing. So you're interested in the show, huh? Yeah, sure. It's better than sitting in my cell. All right, we'll start rehearsing tomorrow. Wait, rehearsing? Yeah, for the show. Didn't you just agree to be my assistant? You've got the perfect body for performing the death slice. That's not what I meant by interested. I mean, I'm definitely not helping you out with your magic show, dude. Like, if you need help, pay me. This is jail, bro. That's the way that this works. This place functions on tit for tat. And I've seen a whole lot of tat. Alright? But I ain't seen the former. Alright, uh, what's up with this dude? Just thought of a stupid joke. His name is Hakuna. And he's a, he's a warthog. Okay, and apparently his best friend is also a lemur, so we've got a Lion King reference in here. Hakuna Matata, what a wonderful frame. What you talking about? Alright, dude, I'm, I'm bailing. This place sucks. Afternoon is wreck time. Let's get some fresh air, but the yard's pretty small. Dude, are we in, like, maximum security? Dude, this is kind of like a gnarly prison. They got, like, the double chain link fences just for, like, the corridors? Dude, what did we get? Like, we were on a drug charge, bro. We should be, like, in minimum, maybe medium. Why are we in, like, ultra max right now? They sent me to Pelican Bay? Jesus. I didn't think our charge was that serious. Like, I thought we were going to do, like, some little light time in Dublin or something. But instead, they sent us off to, like, they, they sent us to Susie's house, dude. All right, there's a map on the fence. I'll check it out. All right, so you are here. Okay, cool, man. I kind of just want to... Yeah, let's go to the weight pit, dude. I'm trying to get swole out here. Yeah, I'm going to the I'm going to the weight pit, dude. I'm trying to get jacked. Hey, fish. You talking to me? Of course. Who else am I talking to? What do you want? I didn't have enough for lunch. I want to buy some snacks from the machine, but I'm broke. What's that got to do with me? I want to give you a chance to help me out. Give me half the money in your pocket. And I'll let you pass through here or else. Or else what? I'll teach you some prison etiquette. Teach you real hard. Looks like he's trying to extort money out of me. I can't expect peace and safety in prison. Listen. Listen. This is our first day in the joint. We can't get dunked on on day one, dude. 
that just sets a tempo that I'm not okay with. If we let this guy punk on us and steal our muffin, next thing you know, everybody's going to be punking on us and stealing our muffin. This may be one of those situations where we got to steal up on somebody and we just got to take that L, all right? Sometimes you got to take a medium-sized L to avoid, to avoid like an entire time inside taking Ls, all right? So this is it. We got to square up on him even though he's bigger than us. We know we're going to lose, but we're just making it clear like we can't be messed with. You know what I mean? Like we're making it clear that we're not that guy. Fighting's no joke. Should I do it? Yeah, dude, forget this guy. You just messed with the wrong guy. This afternoon's going to be more interesting than I thought. Let's see what you got. Head on, baby. Oh, get wrecked. Hey, what the hell? It worked. He's confused. But it seemed like he was holding back. If I continue to fight, it's not going to end well for me. What, you don't want to fight no more fish? I've only just finished warming up. Oh, dude, I thought I was going to back up. Okay, okay. Maybe we can solve a problem another way? Yeah, I don't want to hear no bullshit from somebody like you. Hand over your money. I'm running out of patience. Aw, oh, dude. I should have gone for the 17%. We just got punked on day one, dude. This is not a good look. Smart choice, fish. I'll let you go for today. Man, I didn't know that backing off on the 17% was going to, like, let him take my money. I thought that I was going to space it out so that I could take another shot at him. But, like, we were getting too close, and he's, like, bigger than me. And then he was going to, like, manhandle me. You know what I mean? He was going to use his superior body mass to take me down. So I thought I was fighting small. You know what I mean? Like, stick, stick, move. Straight, straight. Move the head. Stick. You know? Like, that's what I thought we had going on. Work the kidney. Work the kidney. Man. It's my first day in prison, and everybody knows that I can be punked on. Worst day ever. Time to go get swole. Let's go to the weight pit. Apparently, I can pick flowers, too, if that's what I meant to. What are these, like, dip bars? Bro, get off the dip bar. I'm trying to get my dips on right now, dude. Quit hogging the weight rack, my man. Want to use the bench press? This is Bigfoot gang territory. We're in charge here. Anybody from another gang who wants to work out pays a fee. Pay up or take a hike. All right. Man, everybody's working a hustle in here. What does this say? The higher your strength, the longer the power bar. Accurately follow button prompts on screen to complete a bench press and get some power. The more you complete before power runs out, the more experience gain. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Oh, no, dude. W-A-A-A. -A -A. There we go. There it is. There it is. There it is. S-A-A-S. -A -A there we go. Let's get these lifts. A, W, W, D. There we go. Another one. Hit it, baby. A, W, S, W. Got it. A, W, D. Oh, no, I, I went S. That was, no, I did it again. God, I suck. Okay, I'm all panicky right now, dude. I'm panicky right now. Come on, give me that XP. There we go. I'm just going to take it a little bit slower. Oh, dude. I only did five. That was terrible. One more time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Space bar when ready. We got this. All right, W, W, D, A. There we go. There's one. W, W, A, D. There we go. There's another one. We got A, S, S, A. There we go. That's another one. Put them up there. All right. Okay. All right. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Put it up there, put it up there, big man. Put it up there. You got 10 in you. You got 10 in you. I know you got 10 in you. All right. There we go. 10 in you, baby. Let's go. That's what's up. We're getting swole. Swole in the yard. That's it. Swole patrol. Worshiping at the swole altar. Uh, I get to hang out here till like 5.30? Oh, damn. I mean, how much XP did that give me? We got combat XP. How do I take a look at my combat XP? I can't click any of these little icons down here. Like, I want to know how experienced I am at throwing these hands. But we're kind of out of time for the day, dude. Like, that's a bit of a bummer, man.
Well, anyways, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so that you don't have to. Somebody suggested this one to me in my Discord, so I figured I would check it on out. Not to say I'm impressed. There's a lot of, like, really good visual details here. I like it. I like it quite a bit, and I'm excited about it. I was a little bit worried it was going to be stepping on the escapist toes and kind of just being like a copy, but I don't think that it is, dude. It feels a bit different, in all honesty. It feels a little bit darker. It feels a little bit more structured with the time system. And so anyways, I'm kind of like digging it right now. All right, well, anyways, I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. It's time for me to go. Farewell, everybody, and that's about all I got for you. Bye-bye.